All right, so here's some features of this Happy Zombie Apocalypse Day game, or H-Z-A-D for short. So the story is we beam down to the planet Akali from the starship Equinox, our science vessel, and we went down there to do some water quality testing, watershed restoration, and to help them improve their environment. Of course, we found out we were in a global pandemic, and we have to wear masks, we have to be socially distant, and we have to quarantine as much as we can. Hey, just like in real life. Uh, but on this planet, we also have to be survivors from the pandemic that they're experiencing. Well, in real life, this Hazad unit is to learn about disease. So you're going to learn what causes disease, how we've gotten better at fighting it, and yes, how you can prepare for a zombie apocalypse, or anything like it. Um, and, and the CDC, this part down here, is just to let you know why they're using the zombie apocalypse as a theme on their website. I mean, they're scientists, and they put out truth and facts, and they help protect us against disease. But they pick zombie apocalypse because it's a worst-case scenario, and they thought zombies were cool. There are a lot of zombie fans out there, so that that's pretty, uh, pretty neat that they did that. So <clears throat> you're going on this journey to be survivors, and at the end of the journey, we will have some dice roll. Now, along the journey, you're going to be doing work composing blog posts, reading, learning, and studying disease. As you do your work, I, your teacher, will be awarding you uh, items you can use in the game, such as food, water, uh, backpack, uh, a zap grenade, beaver bomb, or, or a chainsaw. All these things are very helpful, and the better you do in your work, the better items you get. So do your best to be able to beat the game. At the end of the game, you'll roll some dice, and I've got a, a scorecard to help you keep track of what you got to add to your dice roll. So once you get the class craft assignment that goes with this Google Classroom HZAD, it, it'll tell you when to start using your scorecard. But I know some of you already peeked at this and you're like, what's going on here? So you see here, this is your copy of the scorecard. So you can go ahead and put your name in there. I'm Gonzalez. And if it does that weird thing, just get rid of some of these lines until it looks good. You know, make it look nice. Food earned. Oh, haven't earned any yet. Haven't earned anything. Uh, but as soon as you earn stuff, you keep track of it here. And this part here is so at the end, you can see how well you did on the game. Because even if you do all your work, well, you know, chances are you, you could still die a messy death and become a zombie in the game. Uh, but of course, the better you do, the better your chances. Because if you have all these items, you can add them to your final dice roll. And here's the thing. If you have a backpack, you can carry 10 items with you. If you don't have a backpack, you can only pick two items. So it gets a little tricky, right? Um, and we add those to your dice roll because you have to get a 28 or a 30 to become a zombie hero. And, and one of the heroes in our landing party crew to help us get back up to our starship and not infect everybody there. Just like on that animated video. Uh, if you get a 14 to a 27, hey, you survived. You're going to be beamed aboard the starship. Now, the other document here, this supply list, uh, I put it there. It's view only, so you can't edit it, but it helps you keep track of what you have. And you can see how your classmates are doing based on their cohort. So I'll keep track of the awards I'm giving you. You keep track of them here. I keep track of them here. And we just got to make sure our numbers match. Uh, so if you forget and you only write that you've got two food and three bottles of water. 
Let's make this look prettier, because that looks... Yeah, there we go. And you look here, and it says you have five food and ten bottles of water. You're like, oh my goodness, I lost track. I have more! Yay! So you can add them to your scorecard. So that's how the scorecard works. And that's basically how the game works. Pretty easy game, but you know. Hopefully it'll be a little fun uh, for you to learn about disease and, and to think of this as a grand adventure. I know that helps motivate me. I love using my imagination to get through things I have to do in real life anyway. So good luck.